There's something interesting and unique when it comes to Tom Nook in Animal Crossing games. In the earliest Animal Crossing games, not only was his role significantly different than what his role would become in later titles, but also his personality and his characteristics, along with, in some avenues, even his appearance. So what exactly is it about Tom Nook, and how has he changed and evolved over the years across each and every Animal Crossing title? Well, let's go ahead and take a closer look. To best understand this, we have to go all the way back to April 14th. 2001, when Animal Forest, or Dobutsu no Mori, first released on the Nintendo 64 in Japan. Now, this game not only would introduce everyone to Animal Crossing for the first time, but also would be brought back in various forms for other releases, as most of us probably remember Animal Crossing originally releasing on the Nintendo GameCube, as it did here in the West for the first time. In the very first generation of Animal Crossing titles, Tom Nook is quite a unique character and much, much different than the type of character he is nowadays in newer games like Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the very first Animal Crossing game, Tom Nook was portrayed as the owner of the town's only store. And while he's depicted as friendly, yet somewhat shrewd or maybe more pragmatic at times, he does offer the player who has nowhere to go a home, thanks to a reference from Rover the Cat, who is willing to kind of jump through some pretty big hoops to make sure you're safe and sound when you get to this town that you're mysteriously moving to without having anything set up or any real reason to go there in the first place. Nonetheless, even though Tom Nook is completely nice in the form of letting players have a house for free with a small down payment, Tom Nook ultimately is a businessman. And you can definitely tell through the text of his personality, he is very much so business oriented enough where he might even come across as maybe a little bit greedy in one way or another. The first impression you get from Tom Nook and just the way his character is written in this early game definitely comes across more as as not really necessarily having the player's best interest in mind. Maybe even he comes across a little bit greedy to some players, as the amount of debt that you can fall into from Tom Nook in this first game is pretty substantial, and then he like forces you to also work for him for a while, and after you spend all this time working for him in the form of a tutorial, the paycheck you receive is pretty insignificant in comparison to the total loan that you have. There's some other things about his personality that show up here as well. Like for instance, if you show up in clothes that aren't your uniform to work, he'll nearly blow a casket before kind of reeling himself back in and being okay with it. There's definitely some confliction here with this character, and in a way, the fact that this character maybe comes off a little more standoffish in the beginning is one of the larger appeals that fans have towards these older Animal Crossing games, because part of the experience of the game was maybe having these first impressions of characters, and slowly they grow on you, and in a way, it feels like maybe you're growing on them as well. It's always clear that in this first game, Tom Nook always has aspirations for things to become bigger and better than what they are, and while he has his humble beginnings with Nook's Cranny, eventually he grows his store and builds it up to something bigger and better than before. But first we need to understand, what is Tom Nook? In the Animal Crossing series, Tom Nook is depicted as a tanuki, a type of Japanese raccoon dog. Now generally speaking, his appearance is mostly consistent. He's got that brown fur, he has a tail. In Japanese culture, typically the tanuki is commonly associated with things like wealth and prosperity in different forms of folklore, so it kind of makes sense that Tom Nook is this character who has this businessman and entrepreneur type personality associated with him. Also, I just wanted to throw this back in your guys' memories. Maybe this will help some of you sleep at night, but for whatever reason, during the promotion for the original Animal Crossing game here in the West, they did an interesting commercial that had a Tom Nook suit, and it looked like this, and it was, it was kind of terrifying. I just wanted to throw that in the video. In 2005, after the success of the original Animal Crossing game, Animal Crossing would see its first ever full-on sequel in the form of Animal Crossing Wild World for the Nintendo DS. Appearance-wise, not much actually changes with Tom Nook here as he continues to don the blue apron, at least in the beginning of the game, except obviously maybe the character model himself is rendered differently since it's on Nintendo DS hardware, which makes him look maybe a little more like a polygon at times. But it isn't 
until Animal Crossing Wild World that we hear through dialogue in this game a little bit about Tom Nook's backstory and his history and what drives him and what motivates him to be this raccoon dog that he is to this day. According to Sable, one of the Abel sisters, Tom Nook was born into a poor family in a small country town and even slept in a stump during his youth. Eventually, he would go on to form a close bond with the Abel sisters, especially Sable, who relied on him emotionally after her parents passed away and her younger sister LaBelle ended up leaving to go pursue design. Also, apparently they have fond memories of stargazing together on the roof. Who knows, maybe there is a little more between these two characters. One day though, Tom eventually left his hometown for the big city, but ended up facing setbacks, including being denied a loan by the bank and a failed business partnership with some mysterious unknown fox, which is assumed to be red. This apparently caused ongoing tension and unresolved resentment. Later on, after struggling in the city, Tom returned to a rural lifestyle and established his current real estate and town management business. But when he came back, Sable noticed a change in him and their friendship was affected, requiring time to mend. We even hear from Tom Nook himself in Animal Crossing Wild World that although Tom was never married or had children, he did take in two ambitious young Tanuki, Tommy and Timmy, who were like orphans or something, and they would continue to work for him and eventually take over his business. But still laments the fact that he's been a single bachelor for quite some time. Wow, that's a lot to unpack. I do find it really funny though that in Wild World they went so far in building out the lore for Tom Nook himself, but it does kind of make sense and it is fitting into the type of character he is and the journey his character seemingly goes on across all the titles. Sure, in these older games, he's more stern and maybe a little more standoffish, where in later games he definitely mellows out substantially and maybe the mellowing out is him returning to the type of person he was in his younger years before he got burnt so badly by his city ventures. It's also worth noting, in Animal Crossing City Folk, the next Animal Crossing title to release in 2008, Tom Nook continues to keep his store inside of the actual town, not in the new city street, which is kind of the gimmick of Animal Crossing City Folk. It kind of stays true to the backstory established that he had these bad memories in the city and chose to return to the simpler life in the town. Also, during this time, Tom Nook does make an additional appearance in something completely different from anything Animal Crossing had done. We saw an anime that was released only in Japan, but it was an Animal Crossing anime, and for the most part, Tom Nook's personality is mostly on par to what his personality is like in Wild World. Now here's an interesting thing though, Tom Nook's entire personality and mindset and business approach completely shifts after the events of Animal Crossing City Folk, bringing us into a new era where Tom Nook maybe doesn't have as much of a role when it comes to trying to just run a business and help promote a town. He's much more hands-on in how he wants to do business and what type of business he wants to get in on. I mean, real estate's always been part of his mindset, but then his store was his main thing that he worked on. However, going into Animal Crossing New Leaf, things change substantially. Not only does he no longer run the store himself, there's now other stores competing directly with the business he once was in, but instead he goes all in on the real estate business, which was kind of what he was known to do on the side back in the older games. So did this result in a shift in his own personality? Well, we actually kind of think so. It seems like Tom Nook in Animal Crossing New Leaf has a substantially different personality type than what he maybe had in those older three titles of Animal Crossing. Gone are the days where Tom Nook used to don his blue apron with the little leaf on it, and now we were introduced to the newest era of Tom Nook. Tom Nook who wears a green sweater vest. No, I kind of love this idea. Tom Nook is getting older and he is wiser and he is changing into a new type of person and to reflect that, his business has changed as well. His side gig is now a full-blown business. It's got an actual building even. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, Tom Nook runs a real estate and home renovation business called Nook Homes. The player, who now is apparently the mayor because he just happened to show up at the right time, gets to move in to Tom's program essentially and upgrade their own home and help other villagers build and decorate their own houses over time too. Kind of something we see start to pop up in the happy home games. At the same time, we still see Tom Nook's legacy as a store owner continue to exist in Animal Crossing as Tom had passed on the running of the store to his not children. They're not really his nephews. 
They're just like there. But Timmy and Tommy, and it kind of shows this evolution. Timmy and Tommy prove themselves to be responsible enough to run their own store, and here they are. And as we go further into Animal Crossing New Leaf, we see Tom Nook really in this whole new light. Already at this point, Tom Nook has completely mellowed out from the previous games. He doesn't seem to have to convey things maybe as strongly as he did before, and almost takes on a little bit of a paternal role at times. He's actually kind of caring and nice while he might come across as a little shiny. He doesn't necessarily like outwardly exclaim it constantly. If you've played New Leaf, you totally will understand what I'm saying here when it, Tom Nook maybe doesn't seem as uptight as maybe he was in previous games. Also, there's some cool things that Tom Nook is now able to do in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Like, boom, he also is in the business of letting you renovate the outside of your house even more than before, which is cool. And he's getting involved in business relations with Lyle. That's also interesting. I really didn't like Lyle in Wild World, so it's cool he did something different, I guess. For a really long time, Tom Nook was the mascot when it came to Animal Crossing, maybe alongside K.K. Slider, and with Animal Crossing New Leaf releasing and the introduction of Isabel, this character easily could have taken a back seat and kind of been the side character that was forgotten, but instead, Nintendo found a way to keep this character relevant in evolving him into a new role, and I think New Leaf marked a really interesting and unique approach that ended up overall paying off in the long run. Now, it is also worth noting Tom Nook did appear in all of the various spin-off titles that existed in Animal Crossing, especially in the years between Animal Crossing New Leaf and New Horizons. Tom Nook appeared in Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, once again running Nook Homes, and it's more of this group effort in designing the homes, and you get to be this player who is the Happy Home Designer, and this was cool. It was another step for Tom Nook's character, and it feels like it kind of fleshes out his arc of doing real estate business. You also have to wonder, did Tom Nook invest in the Happy Home Company? Like the company that comes in your house and grades how good your furniture is? It's an interesting theory because technically they're called Happy Home Designers, which is like a term. Is Happy Home copyrighted in the Animal Crossing universe? How is Nook able just to like throw that term around to the employees? And then also Happy Home Paradise is a thing too. And there's like the Happy Home Network, which you connect to with your computer. I don't know, that's a crazy theory. We don't ever have a solution to it, but I like the thought of Tom Nook investing in other businesses and kind of growing his financial portfolio out a little bit more. Also, just for the sake of including all of the Tom Nook appearances in this video, he also had an alternate appearance as some special add-on crossover event for Monster Hunter. And he looked like this. So there you go. But next we go to Animal Crossing New Horizons. And before anything was even announced for Animal Crossing New Horizons, things were interesting because the initial announcement that Animal Crossing was even coming to the Switch came all the way back with the announcement of Isabel coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They also announced that same reveal that there was gonna be a new Animal Crossing game and everyone thought maybe Tom Nook was originally going to be the character announced, but no, 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 no. He's working on setting things up for the future. And we have this Tom Nook, that's still at the time in his sweater, which will go away, planning, plotting, putting the pieces together for his new business venture, which ends up being the deserted island getaway package offered by Nook Inc. And this leads into the biggest venture that he's ever done, but also there's a lot of other things. Nook Inc. is expanding. There's mobile apps on Nook phones. There's like a whole airline that's partnered up with them with mystery tours and Nook Mile tickets and a ton of different things things that are offered by Tom Nook. Now, a lot of these things did kind of show up in previous games to an extent, like Nook did have a point system in Animal Crossing Wild World, but now it's evolved and you earn Nook Miles instead. And it's just a very clever way to expand Tom Nook's portfolio even more. Now he roped Timmy and Tommy back in. He no longer wears his sweater. He has this nice, professional looking, but still paradise-esque shirt on, which is just a great representation for this game, which he will wear for the entirety of the franchise, unless like he's wearing like specific weather clothes to fit whatever weather is happening on the island. And then from there, once you establish yourself on the island, he takes on this role of island management, which is very fitting for his entire background that he's had, but is taken a step further when he kind of becomes the new person in charge in the town 
down underneath, of course, the resident representative, which is the player. Not only is he in charge of kind of tasking things to move along, like let's get houses built, let's get an actual building for resident services. He organizes where all the houses can go and what buildings get built and where, and then he goes about building them himself, maybe? That detail's a little vague. How he does it so quickly, I don't know. But at this point, Tom Nook isn't this like self-conscious, overthinking type character he was in the older titles. Not only has he kind of proven himself to be a successful business person, business raccoon dog, but also Tom Nook has been able to show a, a lot of kindness and empathy for others around him. And it honestly does kind of paint Tom Nook in a unique light, showing this character to be one of the few Animal Crossing characters that have completely evolved and changed over the course of the franchise history, and we're all for it. Now, where will Tom Nook be in the next Animal Crossing game we'll one day get? We'll have to wait and see, but I do think we are going to see maybe more depth in the writing moving forward. I think a lot of the criticisms that New Horizons got was that maybe the characters weren't written as deeply as they were in previous titles. So I feel like Nintendo's gonna take note of that moving forward and maybe we'll see something new about Tom Nook explored in a completely new way. Okay, now real quick, now that's the end of this video, if you're looking for something else to watch, please go check out my video on my Animal Crossing New Horizons city. I worked really hard on showcasing my island and like the history and evolution since I started, since I have over 1500 hours in the game. Put that bad boy out last week and the YouTube algorithm was just like, <laughs> yeah, no. So some of you may not have even seen it, but I'll have it on the end card here in just a second. What are your thoughts on Tom Nook? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos like this. That's it for today though. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.